Imagine you're working on a 3D render and you need plans to fill up your scene. Now you could spend maybe hours of modeling them and creating particle systems for the leaves, but in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create stylized plants in a matter of minutes with the help of one single Blender add-on. The add-on is called Sapling Tree Gen and you can simply install it under the Add-ons tab in the Blender preferences. Now let's start with the first plant. Press Shift A and under Curve you're gonna be able to hit Sapling Tree Gen. Now we got a tree and can open the window on the bottom left. In the Presets tab we're gonna select the Quaking Aspen. Now we go into Branch Splitting and we're gonna increase the trunk height. Under Branch Radius we're gonna make the stem really thin by decreasing the radius scale. Then we're gonna go back to Branch Splitting and increase the levels to 3. Now to add some leaves to our plants we're gonna go into the Leaves tab and we're gonna check the Show Leaves box. Set the leaf scale X to 0.5 and the leaf scale to 0.15. Finally, increase the number of the leaves. If you accidentally click somewhere else and the window disappears, you can press F9 to make it come up again. Now select the leaves and the stem and under object you can convert the stem from a curve to a mesh. Now we go into the edit mode, press C and select all the vertices of one branch. To make sure we get all of them, go into wireframe mode and at the end you can press Ctrl L to select the linked vertices. When we got the whole branch selected, we can press P and separate the selection. Hit Ctrl J to join the leaves and the stem of the plant. Finally, duplicate and rotate the plant. Then at the end hit Ctrl J again and we got ourselves a bush. Now we're gonna create another bush but with a different workflow. Create another tree and set the radius scale to 0.2. Under branch splitting set the levels to 1 and add some leaves. Decrease the scale of the leaves and set the leaf scale taper to negative 0.5. Then just like before convert it to a mesh and join it. And in the edit mode you can use the proportional editing by pressing O to deform it. Now we're gonna create a different type of plant. Add another tree and select a small pine preset. Set the branch splitting levels to 1 add leaves and decrease the radius scale. This is already looking pretty nice but it's too big so just make it smaller. And of course at the end it's the same process with converting and joining it. Finally we're gonna create some clover. So load the Japanese maple preset and increase the trunk height. Add the leaves and make them big and round. Then again make it thin by decreasing the radius and then convert it to a mesh and join it. Because it's a bit too big, we can scale it in the C-axis to make it a bit smaller. That's it for the creation of the model and now we can texture it real quick. For that we're just gonna add a green color ramp connected to a mapping and texture coordinate. But to make it look a bit more interesting and give it some yellow leaves, we're gonna mix it with a yellow noise texture. And finally, to make the light shine through the leaves, we can add translucency like this. Finally, just copy that material to all of the models and then you're done. This is the fastest way of creating plants which I know, but if you know an even quicker way, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video till the end and I wish you a great day.